In this video, we're going to solve puzzle number 170 from Sudoku to Go, volume 125 by Soap Opera Digest. My name is Harold Nolte, and this is video number 170 in, on this channel. So there are 170 videos on Sudoku out there. And uh, <clears throat> if you'd like to find a specific technique that you want to learn about or different techniques you can go to sudokuprimer.com and there's a video index of all the videos out here. In this video we're going to um, use these four techniques to solve this puzzle and you'll see that using these techniques will help us to solve this puzzle pretty quickly and easily. There's also on sudokuprimer.com you can find a techniques section where you can learn more about these techniques and others. There's a patterns section where you can learn about Sudoku patterns and there's all kinds of other Sudoku information out there. Well to get started we're going to we'll just put in a one right here. That's pretty easy with those ones. And now I'm going to talk about double row elimination. There's a 5 here and a 5 here, so we know one of these is a 5, and we know that one of these is a 5. This in box 4, one of those is a 5. Now in box 6, we have a 5 here and a 5 here, so we know one of these is a 5 in box 6. So with a 5 here or here and a 5 here or here, that covers row 4 and row 5 in this section, and row 4 and 5 can't have a 5 in this box because of these two boxes. So we know the 5 goes right there. That is called double row elimination. You can also learn about it on uh, sudokuprimer.com if you need to understand that a little bit better. You can go out and find it in the techniques section. Right. Now with that 5 we know that this is a 5 right there, and that is a 5. We also know that this is a 5 right here. All right, now I'm going to talk about uh, ghost numbers. We have a 4 right here, so we know that a 4 can't fit in any of these cells. So a 4 has to fit right here in one of these two cells. We don't know which one yet, but we know it's one of these two cells. This is what we call ghost numbers because with a, a 4 here, or in this case ghost 4s, with a 4 here or here, we know a 4 can't fit here or here. So we call these ghost 4s. So we have a 4 here and ghost 4s here, so we know the 4 in this box has to fit here or here. And with that 4, we know it fits right there. All right, now we have, um, we'll talk about twins and triplets. We have a set of triplets right here. We have a 1, 6, and 3 right there. So we know these are 1, 3, 6 triplets. And therefore, we know these two numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we, knew, we know these are four and seven. So with that, we know that <clears throat> that right there is a seven because we have four seven twins or ghost sevens, if you will, there. A seven there, so we know that's a seven. Okay, we can also fill in this six right here. If this six weren't here, we'd still know that with these 136's one, three, one, three, here, that these would be 136 triplets. Okay. In this case, though, we fill in the 6 and we have 13 twins and 47 twins. All right. Now, with, uh, with that 7 there, now we know that we have 47 twins here, or ghost force here. We have ghost fours here. So we have ghost fours here, ghost fours here, so we know that's a four. 
you see how these twins can help us find numbers even though we don't um, we can't solve them yet with the four sevens here we found that seven and we found this four even though we can't solve the four sevens now we have one three twins here and a one here so we know one of these is a one we also have a one here and a one here so we know these are ghost ones um, so we know neither of these can be a one because we have ghost ones right here so we know that's a one right there all right now we've only got three numbers left here they are one two four five six seven eight nine two eight and nine we got a two and a nine there so we know that's an eight two there so that's a nine and that's a two so we can just finish that box right real quick all right let's look at this column right here we're missing one three five six seven eight nine one three and seven there's a one and a seven there so we know that's a three so these are one and seven we can't solve them yet but they're one seven twins um, We've talked about all three, all four of those, so I'll check them off now. We have one seven twins there. So what are these two numbers here? We can't solve these, but they still help us find these two numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three and eight. So we can solve those because we know these are one seven twins, even though we can't solve them. All right, now let's look at this. Uh, box five right here. We're missing two, two, eight, and nine. We got a two and an eight there, so we know that's a nine. So we know these are two and eight, so we can solve them. All right, now we've got a loner cell here. A loner cell is uh, explained on sudokuprimer.com if you want to learn about them. Uh, what we can do is look at this row right here outside of this box to find out what goes there. We've got 791562. We've got a 7. We don't have a 9. We have a 1, 5, 6, and a 2. So we know that's a 9. All right. Now with this 9, we have ghost 9s here. Well, Actually, we have a 9 there, but even without this 9, we'd know we have ghost 9s there, and so we know the 9 fits here in this box. We've got a 9 and a 9 there, so we know that's a 9 right there. All right, let's look at row 1 here. Let's see what we're missing. 1, 2, 4, 6, 7. 2, 4, and 6, and 7. Here we got a 2, 4, and a 6. So that's a 7. Now we're missing 2, 4, 6, 2, 6 there, 6 there, 2, 4 there, and a 4, 6 there. So we can't solve those. Let's see what we're missing here. 1, 2, 3, 6, 2, 3, and 6. We've got a three and a three there, so we know that's a three, two, six. So we can get those real quick. All right, let's look at row two here, see what we're missing. One, seven, eight. One, seven, and eight. We know these are one sevens. There's an eight there, so that's a one, seven. So these are one, seven twins, so we know that's an eight. Let's look at row three. What are we missing? One, six, seven. One, six, and seven. One, seven there. One, six, seven. There's a six there. One, seven there. So one, seven, one, seven. So that's a six. So now we have one, seven twins there and one, sevens there. We know what these numbers are. They're two, four. Two, four. We can solve those. We're missing one seven here and one seven here. All 
Okay, now we remember there's, if you remember, there are four seven twins there, so we can solve those with that four. Yeah, let's look at row eight, six here. We're missing two, three, seven, eight. Two, three, seven, eight. There's a two, seven, and eight, so that's a three. So now we're missing two, seven, and eight. There's an eight there, so that's two, seven. There's a seven and eight, so that's a two. Okay, now we're missing seven and eight. There's an eight, so that's a seven, and that's an eight. Okay, now with this seven, remember we have one seven twins there, one seven's there. We can solve all those. Now we're missing one, three, one, three here. Right now, let's see, we've got a one here and one here, so that's a one. Let's see what we're missing here. Five, six there. Let's look at row four here. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, and five we're missing. So that's a three or a five. There's a three and five, that's a four. So there's a five right there. And a three. Okay, now we're only missing one number here. That's a two. Now we're only missing a couple more numbers. One, two, three, four, right there. And one, two, three, four, five, seven. Four, five, and seven there. So that's a five, seven, four. And that's it. All right, well, uh, this is a hard puzzle. Not a real, real difficult puzzle, but um, we were able to find a lot of fives right at the very beginning, and then we found the seven and the four up here with these twins and triplets that we found in box nine. And because of those, we we're able to um, solve the putty puzzle pretty easily. Uh, ghost numbers helped us too. So, so as you learn these uh, techniques. They'll help you solve these puzzles, um, and sometimes they'll make them quite a bit easier. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.